Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Saturday morning. Miss Kay is up, y'all. Getting ready for work. I'm trying to get there by 4.30, right at 5, you know, something like that. I'm just getting my coffee. So how y'all doing this morning? Yeah, Miss Kay going to get it. So let's start with this up. Mm, mm, mm. Hope everyone slept good last night. I know I did. Got my clothes laid out. About to get dressed. I'm going to try to get out this door. I should have got there by four. That's what I should have did. I've been up procrastinating. Yep. So we're going to get into the daily bread this morning. And it's coming out of Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 through 21. Did I read this? Mm -mm. I don't think I did. Okay. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be the glory of the church by Jesus, by Christ Jesus, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Again, go to Ephesians 3, 20 and 21. God really is able to do far more than you can imagine or desire in your life. He is the God of all things and good and pure. And he is your father. Knowing this should give you confidence when you pray and when you are in times of need. It doesn't matter how impossible the situation may appear to be. God will always provide for you. That will never change. Dear God, I thank you that I never have to worry about lacking a thing because you are always there for me. Lord, even when the situation may appear to be far beyond saving, I know that you will always make a way. Your word tells me so. When I feel discouraged, may I find comfort in you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now I hope y'all enjoyed the daily bread. Now we're about to get our coffee. This guy got to get dressed. We got to get dressed. I'll probably get there by five. I'm going to say five. But anywho, I hope y'all have an amazing day. Enjoy your Saturday. Get your relax on. Stay warm. Watch your good movie. Just relax. Just relax today. Because once I get off, that's when my relaxation goes again. Because I'm off tomorrow. Yes. Go ahead and get this over with. And then I get a couple extra hours. So that's what's up. Try to anyway. You know them feet, y'all. Lord, bless the feet. The feet. Bless the feet. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit of sugar in there. I did pretty good yesterday. But we were so behind and stuff. Man, it was like... Y'all, it was about three people doing the one job that I do yesterday. I told them. Mm -mm. I told them. It's a beast. I tell you. So that's why I'm going in early. No customers. No co-workers. Just going in. And they trust me like that. And I thank God for that. And I'm going in there and do my thing with no interruptions and no talking. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. They just don't know how happy they made me, y'all. When they say, yes, Miss K, you come on in early. Come on in, Miss K. I was like, hallelujah. They ain't even going to be there. It's going to be people there. We got uh, third shift stockers and third shift managers, of course. But in my department, zero. For a whole hour. Yeah, I, I should have got there at four. I should have been on my way right now, to tell you the truth. That would have been two hours of freedom. But we don't open at six, so I'm going to look at it like that. I got two hours. Well, five, well, no. Nah, it's going to be about an hour or so to get my groove on. And trust me, I'm going to get my groove on in that hour. You can believe that. <laughs> Let's get the cream. Push that back a little bit. There you go. 
Those who like it black, go ahead and get your seat. And Miss K gonna take her about maybe one or two bites of tuna this morning. That's it. I don't know what I want for dinner, but I do want something different. So we're gonna see how that go. But I gotta make sure I got room in my refrigerator, so I might have to eat tuna again today, which it ain't no big deal. And then I might can cook tomorrow. Yeah. I think we'll do that. Miss K gonna cook something good tomorrow. You know, my tuna good, bro. I would love to have me something I haven't had, like some pig feet or some ribs. Mmm, macaroni and cheese, you know, something simple. I think I'm I'm gonna see what I can do. Cause I got to have room in this refrigerator to store it. <laughs> Alright. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Like I said, kick back, relax, and don't hurt nobody. Peace.